Guys, it's time to talk Metal Gear Solid Delta, also known as the Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Remake, coming from Konami. Now, it is rumoured to be coming this year, and also PlayStation have hinted at this with including it in their 2024 games roundup, but there's been a lot going on with this. I've not really covered it, although it is my favourite game of all time. And Metal Gear Solid 3 fits into the retro category now, being a couple of generations back. I'm quite excited to see what happens with this remake. But today I've seen even more vitriol online and discord about everything to do with this. And I just want to share my thoughts in one quick video with you. So first of all, I love the original. As I said, it is my favourite game of all time. I absolutely adore the Metal Gear Solid series and it's one, if not the main reason I got into gaming. Big Boss, Solid Snake, Liquid Snake, The Colonel, everyone. All these amazing characters, Raiden, just ugh, Meryl, everyone. They, they, I just connected with them all. I love all of the characters in different ways and David Hayter, the voice of Snake, Big Boss, everything like that. So much respect for him. And you know what? I do respect Kojima. You know, he was a visionary behind this series, even though I disagree with him with Death Stranding and that's a whole different video. I don't really like that series. And I don't really agree with the people who worship him as a god. At the end of the day... It is what it is, and Metal Gear is a combination of his work, Konami's work, and the developers in that office. Now, this video has been prompted because of the demo screen being re revealed, essentially. David Hayter has actually gone on record to say he has played up until the bridge scene as, like, a kind of, I imagine, a beta build, and before it becomes a public demo. He has said it is absolutely fantastic, essentially, and... You know, you've heard it from the horse's mouth. If he wasn't happy with the project, he wouldn't be involved with it. It's as simple as that. But a lot of people have been complaining, saying, this shows a lack of creativity and it's different to the original uh, solid, uh, sorry, Big Boss fighting a soldier, doing some CQC. And, you know, you could customise and play around with the menu. I get that. It's a very iconic menu, and I agree with that. However... It is showing people's ignorance here. This is a demo screen, harkening back to the original demo screen, the trial version from the PS2 demo discs and everything like that. So people are just finding another reason to get angry online on Twitter. And, I mean, there's already thousands of reasons for that. We know what social media is like. And I don't really make videos like this, but I want to focus on this because I'm trying to stay positive about it. Konami have gone on record to say they are not changing anything narratively. It's pure cosmetic and accessibility and mechanics they're looking to improve for a modern audience. Snake, everyone involved, all the voice actors, they're all the original voice cast. And this lends into the fact they're not changing anything narratively. If they're not hiring them back to do new lines, they're not hiring a new voice cast... They clearly are not going to change anything. So please, guys, just relax on this. Okay, I know Konami has done a lot of shady stuff in the past with their staff. I am not forgiving them. I am not ignoring that. I'm acknowledging that. But at the end of the day, they are trying to bring many franchises back, like the Silent Hill 2 remake coming and other things they've been working on. Whatever their motivations be, money, fame, whatever... At the end of the day, they're trying to do something for fans. And yes, I agree, the Master Collection was a mess on PC. Um, but they're trying. They're pushing updates. They're even bringing out a 4K native update for the games, which I'll be very happy with because the game doesn't look great in 720 to 1080p on big screens. And there's also the Master Collection 2 coming. So, yeah, I'm like I said, I'm a big retro and horror fan, but I also love a breadth of games and... Stealth Espionage is another one. But yeah, we got a load of alpha footage previously. We also got the reveal trailer. Both looked incredible for saying they were so early days. Uh, there was, again, some people moaning online about how Snake looked. He's obviously going to look a bit different, guys. It's a remake. The good thing is, even if this remake turns out to be terrible, or not what you personally want, or they change certain visual styles or character designs, the original will always be there. Go and play it. 
It's the same for the Silent Hill 2 remake. I've never played that personally, but a remake is there to change things. Whether you, even if they change the whole Snake Eater story, which would be idiotic and we know they're not doing it, I wouldn't even mind because it's a remake. Because at the end of the day, I've always got the original. That's what these are for. But in terms of the actual things they are changing, it's gameplay and visual, like I mentioned. I mean, visually, you can see it's in Unreal Engine 5, it looks incredible. But we've already seen crouch walking and some UI improvements by the looks of it, so I'm very happy for that. But yeah, essentially, we've seen Dead Space Remake, we've seen RE4 Remake, and we've now seen Final Fantasy Remake and Rebirth. It's clear these companies can bring these old franchises back into the modern era and improve across the board of how they look, how they play, and add to them. All of those remakes are fantastic. Yes, there's things here or there fans don't like or don't agree with. That's You can't please everyone at the end of the day. And this video is just basically like, you know, people calm down. Calm down. This game will be good. Even if it's not fantastic, it will be good, and it'll help push more remakes and maybe even a new game, maybe a prequel about the boss, maybe Metal Gear Solid 6. You know, I'm not a fan of Survive, and I'm not a fan of V either, I'm not a fan of Phantom Pain, I just like the original 4. I totally get people being sceptical, but this is the greatest game of all time in my opinion, and it's the best Metal Gear Solid. Unless they completely drop the ball, I can't see it being worse than the original. It'll either be on par or not quite as good. If they completely fumble it, I'll be the first to call it out in a video when I eventually play it and check it out on the channel as another retro remake. I just think the gaming community in general needs to learn to have a bit more faith. Like, it's clear that these companies are trying with these remakes, whatever their intentions be, as I've mentioned. This, this online arguing and comments and picking at the slightest thing i mean if anyone's seen the fallout uh amazon show they released a clip everyone was already complaining about the brotherhood of steel having an opening helmet like come on guys it's for the character purposes of the tv show uh, but anyway as i've said david hater is pretty much behind it well you know he's passionate about it obviously he's getting paid but he's involved in the marketing and he wouldn't get involved with it if we didn't have some kind of faith in Konami, and him and Konami have always got along, it's always been him and Kojima that had the issues. And Kojima tried to fire him multiple times, and he is the star. Kojima's also fired people who disagreed with him. Guys, he's not a messiah, he's not a god, he's fallible, he's a creative genius, but he's fallible. Let's not, you know, worship him as the next, you know, the next coming. But yeah. I am not concerned. I think this is going to be brilliant from the gameplay we've seen, the trailer we've seen, and the reason I wanted to talk about it today is because, yeah, judging by what's been revealed by Konami, there's going to be a public demo coming soon, and I'm going to be also covering the Metal Gear Solid retrospective series over the next couple of months. So the channel is going to feature Metal Gear in the future in various ways. So if you're looking forward to that, you know, stay tuned. It is a game series very close to my heart and this has just been like an informal rambling let's talk about a game you know just pure passion coming from me and a bit of like you know chill out people have some faith they've got a plan but yeah essentially why i'm excited is this is a game very special to me i vividly remember at 13 going and getting this from a blockbuster for a birthday and sitting there and playing the game over 50 times on all different kinds of difficulties just getting everything in the game, all the outfits, you know, finding all the easter eggs, getting the stealth camo, I just loved Snake Eater. It had amazing music, amazing visuals for the time, an incredibly deep story with amazing characters, high replay value, and I just can't wait to look at it on PS5 and Platinum it. It's going to be an amazing time. Um, I recently missed the opportunity to actually meet David Hayter at Comic Con due to my sickness over Christmas, and to meet him is my next big goal, and you never know, anything can happen, hopefully he turns up to another con in future. But yeah, always remember, you know, remain very wary of pre-orders, I'll always say that guys, especially in the modern AAA, it's why I focus on horror and retro on the channel mainly, but these retro remakes coming out, I'm very much for them and will cover them. So if you'd like to see more and you're a Metal Gear Solid fan, let me know your favourite quote from a Metal Gear Solid game and that I'll know if you got to the end of the video then. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. 
a bit of a rant. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to cover my thoughts on everything. I've got a lot of faith in these modern remakes now, judging by what we've seen, but you never know, I might stand corrected. Metal Gear Solid Delta. It's likely coming out this year because it's the 20th anniversary and I think it's going to be November time judging by the fact that they don't want to miss that window and they seem to be showing more and more and ramping up. I think we're going to get a big trailer at the Summer Games Fest so keep an eye on that all. And yeah, thank you for supporting the channel. We've just hit 250 subs as well and I'll see you all very soon. Mm -hmm.